welcome back. We are us, and apparently, Oop here has something he wants us to see. The plan is simple. Bashka has a stand around the corner where she sells moonshine. You've got the money, I've got the will, everything fits. The evening is set. You're a real strategist, brother. Then, the bald guy looks to his left, looks to his right, and POOM smacks the cop right in the face. <laughs> Calm down, don't go hitting me now. Has anyone ever told you that you get overly excited about certain things? I'm on the way! Name! Shulsky. From those Shulskis? Well, well, your daddy will be happy. Just like my daddy when he hears that I've been leading little Victor down the wrong path again. Shut your mouth, punk, or my deputy will put a precautionary bullet in your right butt cheek. Precautionary bullets? I... Nope, I've got nothing. No wisecracks, no... Smart retorts, nothing. I am. I am just here to facilitate this scene. About as he wanted to show me his father's store, he picked a bad moment. I didn't need thaumaturgy to feel his shame at that moment. Now I'm ashamed of what I felt back then. I felt superior. Ah, so that's where his pride came from. His buddy's life sucked and his was slightly better. Slurp, slurp. Anyone can win today. Try your luck and play. Don't give up, ma'am. You'll get lucky this time. And you, sir? How can I help you? His name is Crook. It doesn't matter what kind of game it is. It's rigged. I love the guy right there is a plant. You have to wait, I'm afraid. It's the lady's turn. Like a sad man, fortune favors the brave. All right, let's do it. Come back later, sir. You know you've been tricked by a crook, or even two. What? How is that possible? Why don't you go, ma'am? This isn't your lucky day. And now we'll have a talk with you, smart eye. We'll teach you not to harass hardworking fiddlers. Get him! Well, I can assure you they are going to get something. Oop here... Bukovac or the Golem? Right, we picked up the Golem last episode. Snatched it right out from under... He had a woman's name. Uh, Ariel? Yeah, he swims with... Well, if he comes after me, he will be... Well, we don't kill anyone, apparently, so... The vague threat of saying he's going to be sleeping with the fishes is, is unfortunately probably not going to be the case. Okay, so... First things first, let's see what the golem does. Ooh, 
Ooh, that is a big boy. All right. This is the guy I want to take first. Shem inflicts damage and slows the enemy's action. This is a two round ability or skill, which is not great. Afar inflicts damage. If the enemy's focus is less than full, the skill inflicts double damage. Double is 38. Well, upwards of 38. A minimum of 34. That's better than most strong attacks that the Salutors have. Better than Victor's strong attack. And this... Oh, but it's also a three-round skill. And then this one inflicts damage if the enemy is in the suffering state. That seems like a hassle. He's not great. And then we have Met, which just blows them the frick up. It takes two rounds, though. But that is pretty much a guaranteed kill on anyone. Marana is still the best bet here. Hold on. Bukovac is what it said. Frankly, there's no real point in using the Bukovac. He only has two. And it'll take two turns to get value out of it. They are going to eat up my focus. <sighs> so even if we had him howl now and then swapped to Marana for the next round, she still wouldn't get her attack off in time. So instead... And it is just the Bukovac and the Golem. And the Golem's too slow. go with that for her. And since it won't work on him, we will swap off to this guy who's got less than the guy on the right, or the left. If we get him out of breakdown state this turn, or this round, his focus is just going to, well, no it won't because it's one per round, and that's decreased by his trait, which I can't be bothered to remove. Also he's probably not even going to live, so let's go ahead and do, do we want to do this one first? Yeah, because no matter what, we want this to go off. And see, like I was saying last episode, Bloody Debt has no value here because he's just going to die when, it, when I use it. Still, he's going to eat this concussion. 
Everybody back to the end of the line. Hers will probably not go off in time. Enemy reinforcements are on the way. Oh. I look I've looked at I looked at that before. The words didn't register. We've got to get this thing done. He's going to be in breakdown state. The other guy's going to hit me. It's going to hurt a bit, but that's fine. Because he is certainly going to be feeling this before everything is said and done. Speaking of feeling it. I can hit him with concussion and kill him with bloody debt. That means I can set her on him. Maybe... Hmm, we need the oop here. See, thing is, I might be able to set him back, send him back to the end of the line. But we still need Oop here to attack him. And that's a turn I just... Again, enemy reinforcements are on the way. I don't... No, I think I do get XP. seems like the best option. Four times eight is 32, so we only need to remove two of his focus, but that's a problem for later. Right now... <laughs> This guy is currently suffering from a blood clot. He doesn't know it yet, but it's circulating through his system and on its way to his heart. It's kind of gruesome, isn't it? So, about his buddy. Hmm. I could punch him in the mouth and then maybe send him back to the end of the line. going for the focus play. So, a blood, blood clot made it to that guy's heart. He's gone for good. Uh, first, I want him... I want Victor to have his turn. And then this guy is gone for good. Bye-bye, buddy. No reinforcements for you. How's that spine to I may have miscalculated. Mayhaps. Guy on the right can't be afflicted with status effects, so we kill him first.
Okay. I was going to have Marana just absolutely consume this guy's soul, but instead we actually do need this. Next guy. No turn for you. Marana, if you would please. Wow, we got no XP out of that. Definitely not. Well, no, we just straight up leveled up. Never mind. Slap me in the mouth and call me tasteless. Uh, yeah, I completely forgot why we were even here. Oh, this is the bazaar. That doesn't tell me anything, but at least I know where I am. And, as is classic for us, we start off with violence. I'm okay with this. Letter. Dear Mr. Julius, you made me very uncomfortable at the last ball. Miss Jadviga not only comes from a barely respectable family, but she is not even pretty. I really don't understand why you were so fixated on her during all the fast dances while I stood on the sidelines and wasted my time in idle conversations with boring aunts. You would like to see me again. Agreed, but on one condition. As a token of your devotion and assurance of kindness, I will accept a gift. At Miss G's. Mikuzevsky. Probably not. That's that's my best guess. And Mr. Mis Misovesky. Nope. It's Miku Sevsky. And Mr. Cheese. And Mr. Miso Miku Sevsky's on Brook Kofa Street. You can purchase a gift that will put me in a better mood. Please do not bother showing up without that gift. I have observed that some of my uncle's strange habits are, you've probably heard of him. He has one room next to his bedroom that he doesn't allow anyone to enter. He often carries large packages there. When I ask my aunt about this, she replies that he has a collection of insects that he takes great care of. However, I don't believe it. Who would want to collect insects and guard access to them with such fervor? Be sure to visit me because we need to solve this puzzle together. Am I a magician or what? The conclusion we so brilliantly deduce regards the secret library. Adam Baluki lives at 39 Targova Street. Using the acti activities of the Rare Book Lovers Club as a front, he imports and reads works banned by Russian censorship. If you return a lost package to him, perhaps he will let you see his library of uh, banned works.
Midas's golden touch. Everything here is oozing with the precious hot liquid. of flowers, fresh flowers, probably from a nearby flower shop. Pretty. The flowers taste of sorrow and ash. The delicate colors of the petals fade, consumed by the need for action, retribution, revenge. To take from others what one has lost. The sensations flowing from the bouquet are intense, choking, intoxicating, frightening. They make up Wanda's trace. Not that I have any idea who Wanda is currently. But we know her. We know her trace. <laughs> we can follow it. Eventually. Worker leaflets. Regarding the strike they're planning. Worker magazine. Proletarians of all countries unite. A slogan popular among socialists rather than socialites. Therefore, we conclude at Burke Rotblitz's. It's not immediately apparent, but this establishment is a meeting place for revolutionaries. What's more, Wanda's here, and now I think I remember who Wanda is. I believe, and this is just, I'm just, I'm just trying to recall this raw. I believe we assisted her with her vision or something. The bouquet is fresh, and without a doubt, she's the one who brought it here. It's hard to mistake her trace for any other. Did someone say moonshine? Said the already drunk drunk is that cat in staff too you bet he stirs the beer with his tail oh what can i get you so i can add unsanitary business practices to a meeting place for revolutionaries got it yes one donut please even if i had any i wouldn't recommend them but I heard I was supposed to order a donut. Here. It's all right, Yannick. I know him. I was hoping we'd run into each other again, and here you are. Can we speak in private? Come on. Hmm. I've got deja vu. Silence. Yeah, this is Victor. It looks like I owe you a debt of gratitude. Lower the gun, and we can call it quits. You can leave us. Come, Victor. Tell me what brings you here. I'm looking for a particular man. He's a doctor and a thaumaturge. He treats people with rather radical views. Who do you mean? Us? Correct me if I'm wrong. Diplomatic. I'm sorry. We don't betray our comrades to anyone who asks. So you do know one another after all. Who knows? How about this? I won't ask for anything else, but please, pass something on to him for me. Are you praying to an onion? Hush. 
What should I pass on to this doctor? We'll go with uh, making sure he doesn't feel threatened because he's Not bad. Not bad at all. He's pretty much the only one we know has a, the book that our father, that his father left. He's frankly the only option that we have left and can think of, so. Done. What can he make out of that? Cough syrup? Just pass it on to you. That would be Human. disgusting. You're peculiar. Anything else? Got any more bullets you need me to pick up? I'll be off now. If I get an answer from the doctor, I'll let you know. Look after yourself. I'm just going to go ahead and slurp up all that free XP lying up. around sooner or later it'll happen now we have to go sit on a bench like a son of a bench Why would I catch a tram? I don't understand. I could just sit on the bench, right? Why would we go here? My mistake, I wasn't even looking at the screen. I guess we're going home. so benchless. Yeah, so we're going home for some reason. I smell sparkles. Hello, sweet secret. Article in Spikes Magazine. A satirical magazine opened on the page with a pamphlet about a well-known writer, according to the authors, Zenon Prizes Miki, has recently been known to frequent cafes and restaurants. If encouraged, he is prone to engage in lengthy discussions. And you know how we are about discussions about art. Every day in the afternoon, Zenon Prezmiecki can be found at the La, Pl La Plume Cafe on 5 Plebeian Street. That's the one. It is, enough, it is enough to strike up a conversation with him to be drawn into a riveting discussion about art. I was thinking Previet, but that's not... I mean, it is a... I was mostly thinking about um, Stalker. If you guys don't know what that is, sucks to be you. Mr. Shulsky, there's a young lady to see you. I'll serve tea is in the drawing room. I won't stay long. Oh. There's no need. Thank you, Grazinka. A nice house, a spot of tea, a housekeeper. When the revolution comes, everything here will go up in smoke. Did he say anything? You know what? He confirmed my belief that thaumaturges are freaks. <laughs> he gave her a fork. You gained fork. Thank you, Vanda. I'm glad I could help. I've got an appointment with Michal. Damn. 
I really am tempted to go with this. Thank you again. You've done me a great favor. We're square. See you. Will the young lady be visiting us more often? It's not like that. Don't let your imagination run away with you, Grazhenko. Oh, right. Yeah, the last thing you want is someone who may or may not one day be captured and interrogated for rebellious activities to be seen coming and going from your house regularly. The basement is not where I need it to be. It's fascinating that people can appear at my house faster than I can, but I don't think we actually need to, you know, go into detail on that any further than that. Postcard. Rumors of Professor Z. Just don't forget to start with the magic words. Blow and cha? He asked, cautiously optimistic. Traveler's letter. I read it thinking it might have been the guy we've been running into. But. Ooh, almost fell under Silent Hill there. Nice. I'm a no. I can't do that As properly. He's not a Ganoplin. And I'm pretty sure he's not a Ganelf. Wa alaikum salam. I've heard you've been traveling a lot. I'm not used to getting such welcome from others. Usually, they go charging straight into my head. <laughs> That's not very polite, in my view. One ought to introduce oneself first. Emir Bernokovich Foje. Are you alone? I've taken care of them. Good. Thank you for the onion. Thank you for the fork. The onion told me you have no bad intentions. How can I help you? I'm looking for the Black Grimoire. After my father died, it went missing. What do you need another spell book for? I didn't expect to receive anything. I want to know why he left it to me. You and Stanislav weren't especially close, were you? Get to the point. As you wish, enough beating around the bush. That looks like a Ganoblin. In this place, we can talk openly and take all the time we need. But mind that lying may cost you dearly. Who told you I have the black grimoire? But we literally sussed this out ourselves. Granted, I 
don't recall how we came to know about this particular spot. But I don't remember it was... I don't remember Konechkin ever telling us anything about this guy specifically. In fact, he's made it his mission to not actively help at all. And he even had two guys tailing us that we then sent back to him asking for a raise. Because we can do that. So I don't know why, I don't see why it would be, why the first option is admit that it was Konechkin. Now, withholding the truth is not lying, it's just not being honest. Though not necessarily being dishonest. He just asked us not to lie. Again, I really don't remember Konechkin ever helping us with information leading to this guy. In fact, he's not even aware of the Black Grimoire in the first place, so it wouldn't make sense. But these two options are saying that this first one is true. Which, again, makes no sense. Konechkin knows nothing about the Black Grimoire. I'm pretty sure I withheld that information from him. So, this is dumb. The person who drew you to my attention was Ivan Konechkin. He lied. As I thought. The chief had been circling Stanislav for a long time and was interested in his associates, in us. The Grimoire, my patience is running short. Sofer is dead. You're the only one left. Give the Grimoire back. This is the last time I'm asking. Stanislav used to tell me you were really sick and nearly lost your mind. Yeah. How did you manage to get through all that? No. I didn't ask for diagnosis. This Falje of yours, how did he help you? With a good word and a prayer. Do you trust him? No. But I, <laughs> I don't trust him, but I also have no reason to suspect him. He hasn't betrayed my trust so far. And your Falje is a thaumaturge too. Why do you think you're going to be getting any information? Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Do you know any other thaumaturges from Warsaw? I should just keep I should just keep avoiding the questions, but at some point I'm going to run into I think the lowest we have is the Golem's line. Because I don't care for his skill. Or the skill he gives. Or maybe I got it since I only have points any well two points now after swatting a, a few flies at the start of the episode yes I know two more that's enough I don't have the black grimoire and I've never had it why are you toying with me forgive me at my age, I have to hunt around for entertainment. I wanted to give you a try. You Son, I am not a Snickers. You know how to use it. You've basically learned nothing from me. Your 
resistance has given me as much knowledge as the truth would have. That comes with experience. I want to rebuild the Coterie with your participation. Why do you want to resurrect it? I'll tell you why you want this. Because your father had the right idea, but lost himself on the journey. You've got the chance to avoid his mistakes. I don't know I about that. that. This guy's not that smart. It sounds tempting. I'll think it over. That's enough for me for the time being. But take my advice. When you leave here, go to the one who healed you. I sense he has many secrets. We all do, don't we? Yes, but his secrets might be dangerous and might thwart your plans. Be careful. Snickers is the one with the nougat, right? Or is... No, is that Milky Way? Gross. Milky Way is gross. The only thing you guys should ever be eating... Snickers. Fresh out of the freezer, by the way. If you eat them any other way, you're a heathen. And you will be cold. And the other is a payday. Payday is great. Payday is good. I've got nothing else. Ah, uh, right. Actually left. <laughs> so apparently we're off to see the wizard. Our stinky, friendly neighborhood wizard. What? me to pop that cherry for you. Is Rasputin in? Look at him. So rude. He ought to at least say hello first. I'll Not stick my it. dick in your ear if you Maybe don't get out of the way. for a walk to the cemetery. We wore him out a little, so he wanted some fresh air. Can we help you? Pretty sure we asked about we asked the pair question last time. If he's gone to the cemetery, there's no reason for in us to go case, in. I'll go to the cemetery. <laughs> hey! Got our met our magic red mist. What are you doing in here, you stinky bastard? What are you doing here? Vanitas Vanitatum et Omnia Vanitas. Your father was a great man. He was certainly a man. Where did that thought come from? I can see clearly what a great influence he had on your life, Victor. We both know how much you wanted to be his equal. I don't know about that, so I have no idea how to answer this. Maybe? 
but I can't I can't tell through all of my memories of his absolute seething hatred of the man. You didn't know me as well as you think. Then tell me where I err. I've come by everything on my own. Everything I have, I owe only and exclusively to myself. Pride usually comes before a fall. Your father considered himself Polish. Your mother was Russian. And you grew up in France. Who are you, Victor? I haven't thought about that. Maybe I don't fit into any of these worlds. Maybe it's a sign that the world should adapt to you. And what about the rest of the flock? The people around me, you've gathered them, us, intentionally. Everyone has a goal. We're only yet another stopover on someone's journey. And sometimes our paths lead in the same direction. Mine leads to the court of Nikolai Romanov. I need to save that Tsarevich because I believe that only then can we have a future. I can help him. Do you believe me? I'm sorry, I honestly wasn't listening to him talk, so I have no idea who him is. Let's see. Nicholas Romanov. Again, I don't have a reason to not believe. I mean, at the very least, his attempt to help couldn't hurt. Yes, I believe because you helped me. I know that. Think what we can achieve, Victor, if you just come with me. Think about how the Tsar will look upon all thaumaturges then. If one of them saves his heir, do you see now? It all sounds lovely, but how would we achieve this ambitious goal? Together, Victor. Together. And all in good time. I'm gonna thump you, you on the head. You just believe we can do it. Do you believe? Yes. <sighs> and I mean, we've got guy who's not a Ganelf and has a Salutor that is a Ganoblin telling us not to trust this guy because he could be he could get in the way of whatever the frig it is our own personal objective as well technically our current personal objective is finding the black grimoire I'd really hate to have to kill Raspi and I mean, again, I say kill, but technically no one's ever died that we've personally interacted with. They've all come out sore, but no one's ever died. Kind of like anal. I'm with you. Perfect. Now our journey is really beginning. Just remember, there's no turning back. Yes, there is. I could load right now. Point of no return. You are facing a turning point in history. If you decide to go with Rasputin now, you will lose an opportunity to complete some of the side quests. Let's not waste time. Let's go pray. Ideally at the Orthodox Church of St. Mary Magdalene. Ready? We'll meet later. You know where to look for me. Don't keep me waiting long. A chance like this does not come along very often. For a split second there, I was going to try 
I was going to try to slip slip on over and peek at OBS to see how long we've been recording. But then I remember what happened the last time I did that. The game had a stroke and forced us, you and me both, to witness it in its full horrific glory. And I couldn't fix it. Which was fine because we were at the end of the video at the time. But I don't know if we are right now. So... It's a bit of a spot of bother, you know? Uh, so... There's really not much left. It's literally just the... really just a bunch of side quests. I don't really care about them either. Oh, right! Time for us to go catch another Salyuzor. Nozick Synagogue. Well, there's no star there, so I'm pretty sure we have already admired the view. You know, it would only interest me if there were, um, to be done, you know? Gambler's Den? Hold on. I can't, I can't do a fake burp. Unlucky at cards, unlucky in love. Something like that. Ah, see, that hand is a strike. If only he had gone for the home run. Nope, that was actually two baseball references. I meant to go with a different sport. field goal. I've wasted the moment. Nice. Said, not that one. In the notes of late Rabbi Sofer, I found a mention of a visitor whose presence Sofer felt in the area of Grishbovska Street. Bovska Street. I should have these notes here. Uh, not conclusions. Characters. No, that's probably. How am I supposed to figure out which one? There it is. Walking towards Grzybowska Street. I was struck by an intense 
waking up from your sensation. When I was passing the marketplace. So here, maybe. Which is odd because we've been here before. Boy. Don't make me call the guys. Trust me, I am shaking in my very expensive shoes. I don't know what kind of shoes he's wearing, so I couldn't use the proper terminology. One moment while I... Among the smells, teasing the senses when you cross the market gate, there is one dominating all others. Oranges. Sweet little sons. Nice. Actually, makes me want oranges. But it feels like there's a split in my lips, so that would absolutely screw me up. So I'd have to keep it. I'm going to keep them. I, oranges aren't sold alone. Well, no, no. Sometimes they are, right? Anyway, I don't exactly know what it is I'm looking for here. Do you smell that stench? It's a salutor that isn't mine. Can I feel it? He moves with the bustle of the market and the rustle of sandals around the stalls. It feels like the sun is standing at its zenith and burning mercilessly. It's a visitor from the harsh desert land. A djinn. Ah, oh, he's beautiful. I felt something. Where is it? Real quick, going to go ahead and buy some hard candy. So many colors, textures, and smells, and yet you always end up getting the licorice ones. A simple man and his simple pleasures. Almost makes me want candy. Nice. But I've got ice cream. Hmm. Would you like to buy some flowers? They'll steal your heart. Have you perhaps noticed any unprecedented phenomena happening here? Here? Mister, there's a thousand and one of those happening every day. How about a flower? Listen, you are going to have to stop rasping your way into my pants because I'm a busy man. He's, he's working his way up towards deciding the fate of a... It's a country, right? We'll say country because it sounds better than nation state or teeny tiny place of little significance. Maybe some other time. As you wish, sir. Sniff snuff. I'm looking through your staff. Bench. Placed out of the way, but in the marketplace. You don't get much peace and quiet anywhere. Well, the bench that should be a place of rest and respite remembers the... It remembers, rather, the pure anger and frustration radiating from the people who sought a moment of peace here. Their boss is driving them mad. How long are they going to put up with it? Hello, sweet secret. 
Essential oils, sandalwood, mirror. Is it myrrh? No, that's... Pretty sure it's mirror. And resin. Pleasant. Hovering among the oils are words of fervent conviction that can never be changed. Why can't I smell like a rose? Who defines the boundaries of what you can or cannot do? Let everyone wear whatever they want. Two bottles, please. And so the conclusion we draw. It's not so hard, is it? Everyone can see the way you are, whether you wear silk or a paper bag. My personal favorite. Whether your style is classic, avant-garde, or casual. Tartan, argyle, lace, spirals, embroidery, and golden threads. Everything matches everything. You can get away with anything as long as you wear it with confidence. Flower. African daisy lying on the stall next to some plates. The flower smells strongly of satisfaction and complacency blossoming in the heart. Someone has left it here as a sincere greeting and continued on their way, allowing the emotions to bloom in it quickly. Apple core. If that's what it takes to find a gin, then fine. I will touch it. <laughs> bite after bite, he sank his teeth into the apple as emotions continued churning in his heart, driving him to the edge of reason. They keep doing everything the man asks, and he won't even toss them a kopeck. The apple core landed in the mud along with the remnants of his patience. The trace belongs to a frustrated person. A bust, a sculpture, it appears to be as genuinely old and valuable as the price suggests. A hand moved across the bust as thoughts buzzed in the head like bees in spring. No can do. It's too heavy, especially since the other hand has to carry these flowers until they're sold. A trace belonging to a thief. I'm sure you didn't need me to tell you that. Right? Right? What? I believed in you! Watch. A nice looking pocket watch. There's a panicked thought roaming around the watch. To leave it after all. It would be a shame to get caught due to carelessness. Perhaps the seller won't notice other items are missing. And thus the conclusion we reach is blown. There's clearly a thief prowling the marketplace that seems to be selling daisies as a cover. Finding this thief shouldn't be too difficult. What? You mean... Wait, hold on. There's still... There's still some sparklies. Good day. I didn't want and to talk to you. it can be even better. I'll quickly find whatever it is you need, sir. Well, I have heard that he has a reputation. What are your wishes? I'm going to leave for now. I was just browsing. Do come back now. Wishes won't grant themselves. Signboard. Featuring a catchy slogan. Promising to make all wishes come true. There's a faint glow of hope radiating from the signboard. A hope that the slogan will catch on. People will be interested, and plenty of them will come inside. Someone's looking for a cream pie! We don't do that here, sir. We like to keep our floors clean. So, can we... Do you think of any new wishes? Yes, to keep my floors clean. Let me go check on them. I was just... Do you...
don't see anything else, so maybe we should confront the thief now? That's the only thing I can think of. All right, thief lady. Have you made lady. up your mind, sir? I'll have one. It will be perfect for a buttonhole. I thought it said butthole. I read it again, and I still thought it said butthole. I've got a problem. African daisy. That's the flower I was looking for. The feelings are still as fresh as morning dew. Yes, on the petals, I can feel... Recently growing hope and contentment at the sight of the approaching dandy. The book at the waist looks valuable. Yes. That would be a good target. I can't help but feel that we've already met. Surely you're confusing me with someone else, sir. I know what I'm talking about. You left an identical flower on one of the stores, and you were very happy about it. You got a beautiful porcelain plate in return. And earlier, you were looking at gold watches. Fearing the seller becoming suspicious, you gave up on one of them. Should I go on? Thaumaturge, I've heard a little something about you and your tricks. Want me to show you real magic? Oh, please Help! do. Thief! Help! Stop. Oh, look! She made a white knight appear out of thin air. What are you up to, pickpocket? Stealing from flower girls, you scoundrel. Do you see how I am dressed? You don't like breathing through a straight nose. Never had that problem. Why don't you tell me about it? In a few minutes. Let's get this over with. Well-mannered scum. Fine. We'll teach you not to pick people's pockets. You know... Anywhere else I go, people are looking at my clothes and going, Oh, he's a dandy. He's rich. He's, uh, whatever. But for some reason, this one guy can't look at my clothes and tell the whole story. Not one rip, not one seam out of place, covered in blood, absolutely spattered in the good stuff, but... Just the finest of finery. Hmm. Well, we're not actually... Ooh, the guy on the right is extremely vulnerable. I like that. I choose him. Ooh, that's not great. Ooh, and if the and if the risk is a slow no buddy nope we're not doing that I've been here too long I have too many nice things you're not getting wait It's a mark on you that under enemies will use, and it lasts four turns. That tells me absolutely nothing. Is his stick a gun? Does he have a... a gick? See, Gunblade is a cool name. But... No one has ever had a gun stick before, so I... I did my best. I could interrupt his turn, but he'd still go for the same move, and it would go off in a single round. It doesn't help me. So I'm going to do what I intended to do from the start. This sh no, the the protective effect should go off before risk activates. Assuming it activates off of Deceptive Songs, costing, well, taking a focus from this guy. I don't imagine it will, and the punch in the face will be the one to do it, which is cool. 
but just in case I want to make sure that I have my protection. You never go in without the rubber. <sighs> Didn't work. Wait, why am I afflicted with something now? Oh, that's the mark from his stupid little... Hey, hey, what if... And this is just a theory of a game... I don't remember how the phrase went. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of this thing I have now. And eat your focus at the same time. Thanks for the grub. Rub a dub. Dub? I don't I don't even know what I was afflicted by. I thought that was the mark. Uh Okay, we can do this. This guy's got a lot of health, so I want to absolutely cheese him in a single turn. I just want to check what this does. It guarantees a slow. But we can handle the other guy later. I, he goes right now. Oh, you lucky devil. I choose you. Wait, we can do... We'll do this. Have her then feast on you. No turn for you, old man. Your eyes are clearly broken anyway, so it's fine. Now, he's been humbled by 16 health. And we'll just we'll pop and bop. How about that? Uh, well, it's more like a bop and pop. We bop him in the liver? It could be a kidney shot. Liver's perfectly logical too, but I don't imagine you could get a blood clot from being punched in the liver. I see it being more likely with kidneys. So we bop him in the kidneys and we pop his heart. <clears throat> we pop his heart with a blood clot. I like that. I'm sure the woman's going to run away and we're going to need to ask the, the, the wish grander to find her or something like that. This too is fine. First, the bop. And next turn, we get the pop. Whatever this guy is planning to do is going to hurt. I don't want it, so... Right, she interrupts his freaking turn. I forgot about that part. That's my fault. I'm the Duke Golf now. And pop! I actually kind of like that combo. It, it's a set it and forget it kind of deal. It actually works out a lot better than I thought it would, especially if we do the trick with Morana. Ah, uh, this needed to be something that interrupted. Well, what can you do? So for now, no turn. Well, hold on. This will eat 24 health. No, that's not enough. We need to take all of it. That that will be exactly enough to kill him from where he is. So for now, you go to the end of the line, boy. Guess what? More to the end of the line. <laughs> Uh, 
Apparently it does not stack. That is fine. We shall shame his ancestors with murder. Or with him being unconscious. That's good enough as well. Like I said, she's gone. Now we go find Wishmaster 6000. What? I don't understand. What was the last thing I was missing in order to uncover whatever this guy had? Or whatever the extra speech option was. I didn't miss anything here. I've been everywhere, man. I'm, I don't remember the rest of the lyrics to that song, especially that one part, and you guys know what part I'm talking about. No way on earth. I love the song. Don't love <laughs> trying to repeat those lyrics. Uh, right. Wait. Sniff, sniff. Mind at six? I mean, it's only at five right now. Let's focus. I'm still missing two salutors. This mind is on the second line. I don't have three freaking points. Ooh, but that is for fury. Color me aroused. Interested. Color me interested. I went over why in depth last episode, I believe. Not going to do that again. Unfortunately, I can't touch it. Well, I can touch it. I just can't glean any actual useful information out of it. There's something else here. Sniff Snarf. Stolen watch, just like the one I saw on one of the stalls. The intention that clings to the lost object is full of determination. He must quench his thirst. A place of respite is near. The coolness of water extracted from the bowels of the earth. Thoughts, re thoughts revolve around the well as eyes continue to watch vigilantly behind him. Interesting. My thief was definitely here. Or could the djinn be deceiving me? Water pump. A worn out pump over an age old well. This is a meeting place. Cool metal reflects many thoughts. Mixed here are both the nervousness of the thief and the primal relief after quenching the thirst which glistens in the sun like a sheet of cold water with a rusty aftertaste. Mmm. Don't you guys just love when you're drinking water and it crunches? Mmm. That's great. The heat again. What tricks are these? Welcome to the watering hole, Wang Yi. Show the proper respect. Hi. Hello. My name's Victor. They call me Ali, and this is my well. Did you draw from it? I wish. It's unbearably hot. 
I'll let you, if you tell me what you're doing here. I was looking for someone here, but I didn't find them. At the zenith in the desert, it's not hard to lose your way. I won't be fooled, Jin. <laughs> Are you trying to lead me astray like Jin? I meet desert spirits sometimes, but I don't walk in their paths. No mortal should. I'm just Ali. I'm following the trail of a particular thief, but so far she has eluded me. I know she passed this way. It sounds like she's one of the djinns. You weren't far off. Have you seen her? I've not only seen her, I also know her. And since you showed me respect at the watering hole, I'll tell you where to find her. Go south and find washerwomen working. Your thief lives among them. Your oasis is within reach. Thank you, Ali. Bye, Ali. I'm talking to you, man. What? <laughs> we just... Asked why you're staring at this pump. He obviously didn't see the same thing we did. Otherwise, he wouldn't be standing there asking why we're staring at the pump when that's not what was going on. You won't understand anyway. Well, here's what caring for your fellow man will get you. You better go now. Be on your way. Peace be with you. If you see Ali, tell him I said hi. Vision. I had a vision where a mysterious man by a water hole told me that the girl lives next to a laundry in the southern part of Mirov. Chase. I can tell it wasn't the first time the thief did that. She tried to lose me while keeping her cool and peace in her heart. As I followed her, I had a vision triggered probably by the djinn himself. That is why I know where to look for the girl. The djinn tried to trick me, but instead, he gave me what I wanted. <laughs> this is going to bother me for a long, long time to come. I can't tell how much XP I have. I could probably sift through the menu to check, but... Whoa. I thought this guy said he was laying pipe all day. It was not that kind of pipe. My interest waned. The fashion review. More good stuff. The July's issue... The, jo ugh, the July issue's lead story is the debate on boundaries in fashion by renowned Warsaw tailors M. Haas and B. Malinovics. In a bitch. Anyway, when is wearing an extravagant item considered an expression of bold creativity, and when does it defy good taste? I'm glad I came this way. Been meaning to do that. Slurp, slurp. Mm. That is a. Uh... That is a lot of XP we just got. You know what that means. <laughs> As a matter of fact, yeah, I do really want to try Fury. Uh, see, though, Fury... The issue with Fury is that I don't know if it'll work with a strong attack. It should... Because the strong, the strong attack is targeting the person that's vulnerable to it, but is not specifically after them. It should work. But I also do like giving people a coronary. I believe that's the medical term for it. No? Anyway. 
Um, right, the Fury. Bloody Debt is under placement. I have to remember that. Oh, man, I'm going to be so sad if this doesn't work. So sad for, like, three seconds. The sewers have to be a Jewish scam. I don't even know where to begin. I Yes, I do. How? There we go. Small toy soldier. Wooden and represents a Russian soldier. The soldier is a Sassin. Okay. And the soldier is a sincere gift. An attempt to bring a smile and compensate for everyday hardships. Too bad the little brother was left alone painting the door. Hopefully the washerwoman will keep an eye on him. He should like the soldier as a reward. Maybe we'll get someone to punch in the face before the end of this video. Lord knows it's more likely to happen than not. is freshly painted. There is some instruction lingering on the door. Three quick ones, two slow ones. Remember, words uttered firmly, resolutely, so that they are kept in memory and treated seriously. Thus we draw the conclusion, busy afternoon. The girl has a younger brother and they seem to have a pretty hard life. It appears that I found her home. Now I just need to get through the door that's painted up to the height of a small child. Let's try. Open sesame. How did you know the password, Ganeth? You want to be punched in the nose, kid? I know a thing or two about magic. If you don't behave, I'll turn you into a toad. As long as you don't turn me into a Ganelf. A Ganelf? Don't get in my way, understand? There's nothing for you here, posh boy. Looks like someone's angling for a bop and pop. Observation, constant wariness. The boy is exceptionally wary and averse to strangers. I can tell he's on his guard not to let anything slip, not to say too much. Picture on a wall, old but interesting, in a simple wooden frame. The picture is a vessel for the intense memories that emanate from it. It's the only thing that she took from her home in Barsis. A village with no prospects and the father, the father. Sentimental memories are suddenly pierced by a strong determination not to end up like him, whatever it takes. Table, small, wood, a little rickety. There are words hanging above the table that accompany harmless sibling squabbles. One of them prefers table potato dumplings with onion, the other with green. The, boy, the boy's voice prevails. Dad always made them with onion, and he wants to go home. And so the harmless banter turns into something bigger. Cardboard in a window, covering a broken window pane. This inconspicuous place is scorching hot with accumulated emotions. It's a mixture of a jarring disgust at living in a place like this, but also hope that everything will soon change for the better. It has to. Finally, there is a sense of responsibility for the loved ones. Here. 
blanket, warm plaid pattern. Under it, he held his breath and pretended he wasn't there as Layla yelled at their father for being useless. Then he held his breath and pretended he wasn't there when his sister took him to Warsaw, lying that they were going alone. This is not a blanket. This is a true cape of invisibility. Leading us to a new beginning. Leila takes care of her brother and sisters that she took from their home in Varsis, hoping to provide a better existence for them. They had no prospects there, and she saw Warsaw as a chance for a good life for them. They're doing their best, but still struggling with the toils of everyday life. One of many similar stories. Arnold, everything yet, Claude? Then get lost! I like that he said fondled. Should I scrub your tongue out with soap? Who taught you such foul language? Your sister doesn't speak like this, that's for sure. We can't afford soap, you bourgeois bastard. <laughs> oh, you certainly can't, huh? Let's talk about your sister and about you. I know her name is Layla. I'm not talking to Ganef. But I'm a... I think the joke is done. I also like potato dumplings. Garnished with onions, browned in a hot pan. The kind your sister makes for you. Stop annoying me! I'll invite you both for some freshly kneaded dumplings, provided you tell me where Layla is. Don't lie to me, Ganef. That checkered blanket. You used to hide under it when your sister was arguing with your father, didn't you? And? I could feel how scared you were when she smuggled you in it through the Warsaw turnpikes. Yeah, right. A cracked window is nothing pleasant. Fall will come soon. Layla wants you to find a better place. If you don't tell me where she is, I won't be able to help you. All right, I'll tell you. As long as it gets you out of here. She's probably at the harem. It's a local brothel, not far from here. Just don't get any ideas. She doesn't work there. Thank you. Ganef. I should take one of his eyes with me. Just so he can see the look on his face. <laughs> okay, we go north then. Yeah, we won't need him, any transportation. But I will need to keep an eye out for sparklies. <sighs> sparkle, sparkle. <sighs> Heron, of course. You tried to deceive me, but it's not gonna happen. I can't remember any good songs with those lyrics. Not presently, anyway. There's something itching at the back of my head. Maybe my head just itches, I don't know. Slurp, slurp. Alayla. Something else to slurp up in here. Just probably not use that word, considering where I am. How much can I get for this loot? We have a guest. Is it nice to eavesdrop like this? Yeah, we're going to be punching some dudes in a moment. I was looking for her. We have things to talk about. My guess is that he didn't come to a brothel for a philosophical debate. Do you know each other? Something like that. If he pesters you, you know what to do. Get other people beaten up and again? you better behave yourself, or you'll scare away the girls. 
What's the opposite Is of pussy magnet? Friend? Why, are you interested in him? Or maybe you're interested in me? I must have caught your eye. You are dressed like a homeless boy. I have no interest in you whatsoever. Like home. Tweezer is a pimp, a fence, and the owner of the harem. He's a dangerous man. Still, the harem seems to be a safe haven for Layla. She feels at home here. You can say that, sure. You have something I want. I'm not here to grant your wishes. Hey, you there! <sighs> I was trying to avoid this. My brave assistants will show you the door. Try not to resist too much. They don't like it. Why do you keep I sending people after me? The spot, and you don't go anywhere. This guy has seven. His friend here. What is he doing? Inflicts damage, reduces focus, cast team talent, counter attack. But what if you didn't, though? <laughs> what if you didn't, though? Yeah, figured. I could probably use Velez to interfere or interrupt his turn and hopefully I don't imagine that a slow and an interrupt stack so if nothing else I want Marana whispering dang it sweet nothings in your ear I currently don't have anything that strips buffs off of enemies. Uh, how about you get to the back of the turn order where you belong? Incidentally, I disabled the other guy's trait. Color me moist. No, wait, don't do that. She can interrupt this guy's turn, so we'll do that instead. Yeah, the counterattack, that's why. How did he get a turn? He was supposed to go after Marana. None of that makes any s sense. So it's a team counterattack where they just, if it's triggered on him, if I attack him, it triggers a counterattack from both of them. I could have used that information before. I really do want to use this though. Would this trigger his counterattack? Oh, that would be horrifying. Huh. Maybe we should just focus on this guy, huh? Ooh, right, we do have the whole... Pop and bop with Fury now, don't we? Well, the new version of Pop and Bop, that's... Not necessarily a well, pop and pop, I mean. But uh, either way, it's got to go like this. 
I'm not going to waste a turn trying to stop that guy for it to only not go my way. Both kids are ruthless. Let's see, five times eight is 40. He's dead, but I need him alive. I can't do the trick then. So we'll have to go about it this way. He's got terror, so on the next turn he just loses focus. Okay. On hit on his next turn, he enters breakdown, not this guy, the other guy. I cannot attack this guy. Unless... Nope, because then her turn goes off next round when I have no protection. I can bop the other guy. But it also has no real point. <sighs> so he's got it for three rounds. Pretty sure I can apply suffering to him and not die. And then we can stall next turn. Yeah, let's see. This guy. I really don't. We'll use someone else. Oh. Okay. The only problem is, this will kill him. Cool. Nope. I'm okay with that. The other guy, though, is about to enter breakdown. Assuming this actually works like I hope. He's about to enter breakdown state. Where we can attack him with our strong attack, which carries the fury perk which will randomly attack one of these two for a gabillion damage. Guaranteed to kill someone. I'm willing to bet it's going to land on this guy. Ah. <sighs> Well, what can you do? Yep, so doing anything triggers the counterattack, but then it's lost for good and they have to reuse it or recast it. He got really aggro for a second and now he's cowering. So, let's see if I was right. No, I was... Good God! That is... I can feel... Well, what is it? I cast End of Times on the back of your skull. <laughs> End of Times is the rock, by the way. I'm back. Like a bad dream. You are persistent. I'll give you that. You should have learned the first time. Me. I see no real reason to introduce myself. This isn't 
I'm not even interested in her. I want the salutor. Mm, saying I've met her brother is a borderline threat. We don't want to go that way. But I also don't want to push too hard on the, the flaw of pride. Because that will get us killed. Maybe. Maybe she was just saying things, but... Honestly, I could see it happening. As Ali would say, introductions come before all else. I hear you know each other. My name is Victor. I don't know any Ali. How did you find me so you don't even know i've met your little brother if he so much as lost a hair from his head i'll gouge your eyes out we just talked he's fine and quite a character he's the most run in the family just as i taught him if it means i can get rid of you say your piece I'm not the only one following you. There's something else. A wild salutor. It's him that I find the most interesting about you. Do you know what a djinn is? Nothing beyond what my brother has read about him in his fairy tales. And it's this arrogant impudence that attracts him to you. I'm afraid it's an inborn trait. You showed some guts when you pulled yourself and your brother out of that place with neither hope nor prospects. I don't intend to confide in you. I'll be right I'll back. Look around here some more. Do what you want. Don't worry. I'll smell where you are when I need you. Armchair. A shabby, uncomfortable piece of furniture. Sitting and waiting for Tweezer, who was late as usual, she kept repeating the safe code in her mind. 1891. 1891. I wonder if it's an important year for him. Well, I guess it doesn't make much difference. Fancy sculpture. <clears throat> Placed in the hall as a status symbol. There's a subtle haze of gossipy whispers hovering around the sculpture. It's the girls praising Tweezer's shrewdness and resourcefulness. Many pimps have lost their lives and fortunes in the pogrom that, while he not only got away, but is now thriving better than ever. Could he be in cahoots with the Ahrana? Yeah, it's got to be in here. Not interested in you. God dang it. Inst Will my people be all right after all that? They'll live. I also Shame about told that. you to behave yourself. It's a nice place. Why call us Herod? And why won't the Thaumaturge start answering questions instead of asking them? I wonder how it is with you lot in bed. What are those demons of yours up to, then? On behalf of all Templemancers, I must stress that this is carefully guarded knowledge. But you've intrigued me, sorcerer. I'll be off now. It really should prioritize the interaction that you're closest to, not just however it currently works. A watch. Looks like another watch stolen at the Go Goshini Far Bazaar. The watch's hands indicate the time, but also the direction of the emotions filling the thief's heart. Anger at getting such a pittance for her spoils, but also satisfaction from the fact that she gets what she deserves on her own, and still no one has found out. Yet. Well. Hello, sweet secret. Roll 
rolls of banknotes. The small safe is filled with them. Most banknotes bear a memory of fingers that slip them out gently, gently from the drop holder's pockets. Some fingers were more nimble, and others were trembling like a leaf guided by inept hands. Eventually, they all ended up in the safe. Why is this guy on the floor? Must have disappointed the whores. He's still here? I have to ask you something. And here I thought you could learn everything from fondling objects. Really? I guess we have to go talk to Tweezer first. Wonderful name, by the way. And again? What? No. Oh. How in the world is there still something left? Where could I possibly lipstick red left by one of the whores the lipstick's red covered lips the lipstick's red covered lips as they uttered words of comfort for a concerned colleague makes no sense but I'll let you have it Assurance that this was the way things were around here ever since the pogrom. All she had to do was get the client tired and drunk, and make sure she didn't steal too much so that he wouldn't notice. That was the boss's order. Fearless. The harem is run heavy, heavy handedly by a Tweezer, a pimp and a fence that Layla sells her spoils to. The girl is not happy with the money she gets, so she adds to it by robbing the safe where the prostitutes keep the money they steal from their clients. It's a thief's world, but it has its own laws, too. He's still here. I have to ask you something. And if your arrangement works so well, why are you stealing from him? I know that you know the combination to Tweezer's safe. Which I opened it up so and then touched the inside of. Thing. I keep my hands to myself and my mouth shut. I advise you to do the same. You have a good deal going with Tweezer, correct? A business like any other. But I admit that I'm quite comfortable here. It's very profitable for him too he took you in when you first came to the city don't get any ideas all he did was help me get back on my feet you're not going to sit here forever are you stealing for tweezer won't get you and your brother out of poverty and what do you know about getting out of poverty mr bourgeoisie did you strain yourself when you pulled that one out you look like you strained yourself. Stretch next time. I look. Do it. <sighs> and again, I. Well, that's unfortunate. I figured that was what was going to happen, but. A lot happens here. It seems like an ordinary brothel, but it's managed rather creatively. Instead of putting your hands on things, maybe start putting them on beautiful ladies. Or gentlemen. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. I don't know if touching anyone would tell me that Layla has been skimming from your safe. Layla! I'm busy. Busy getting into my safe? Says who?
The Gold Watch who lifted from the Dvul whispered to me that you are equally cautious when lifting banknotes from the safe. Not too much, either, so that no one catches on. You talk to watches? Maybe you're a snake charmer, too. Yes. Anything else, charmer? I know the combination. I know that you keep repeating it in your head when you bob. Did you hear me? Mind your thoughts around this one or he'll expose you for the deviant you are. Layla, pockets. Come on. Is 1891 an important date? Pockets. That's enough before you do something that you'll regret. What? Did the great magician change his mind out of pity for the poor girl? I'll manage. I always do. This time, you won't have to look after everything on your own. Get out of here, both of you, and don't come back. I'm not used to someone standing up for me. Thank you. Well, it was a mess I caused, so at the very least, I could keep you from getting your throat slit. And your brother sold off or is dying of starvation randomly. Because he's not a very nice kid. No one's going to help him. Don't mention it. I admit that I'm impressed. You know why I'm here. Well, yes. This gin of yours. Is he here now? Can you see him? I don't have to. I can see you and I know he's around. Are you trying to seduce me? Just trust me, no. You must know that as soon as the djinn is captured, I will also take your audacity from you. I don't really know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm in your debt. Stand still. It will all be over soon. Audacity certainly helped Layla and her brother tackle their fate. But it also led you down the path of transgression. I now realize the video has gone on for way longer than it should have. That sucks. Without it, you will cease to be the Jin's puppet. Focus, make sure you're immune to your actions being slowed or interrupted. Ooh, we've got three going on. Damage, gin, no. Damage, engage, and engage, I guess. So from here, she's going to hit me for three, which is fine. up like a creeper with his creeper brother four times eight is 32 so she dies but we'll need that slow
So first things first, she gets her go at her. So I don't have to deal with being punched in the face, stabbed in the face a bunch of times. And then whatever happens, happens. For 58 damage. Then again, these guys have protection. Ah, well. It's not an insignificant amount either. I think it's 80%, right? Yeah, that is... That is some defense. What did he just hit me with? Bloody debt. Yeah, I don't want that. So... I... Uh... Uh... I'm getting rid of it. doing this. Did it get rid of Bloody Dead or not? Yeah, I did. Good, good, good. this on her now. Right. When was the last time I fed this guy? Really? Absolutely disappointing. She dies. The other two are going to stab, but in exchange, now I don't really need to pay attention to actively removing his, what do you want to call it? Focus. I don't want Marana stuck in a one round move or a two round skill because the Jin is coming around to cast Bloody Debt. Instead, we could head it off at the pass and then slow down the other guy. I mean, I'm just, I'm better off just, no, well, I'm probably better off getting rid of it now. Well, no, the issue here is Bloody Dead is coming and I'm bleeding. And I want to get rid of both without having to waste two separate turns getting rid of them. But I also don't want to be... Hmm. Screw it. He loses one. But I don't know... At the end of the round. So I guess I could focus on this guy. And then the Jin gets nothing for his trouble. Ignore.
ignored. Trait disabled. What is this other guy's trait disabled by? Oh, that's simple enough. Malelic or Marana? Let's try this and then this. We'll get stabbed, but we had it coming. And now, now we can let Fury reign. And I guess... Hmm. Well, Fury kills this guy. Figured it would. And he's just gone. Oh, that's not great at all. Poop Ooh, not a lot of health. Velez requires two turns. Not great. <sighs> and then we'll spread terror on someone who's got the next lowest amount of focus. Looks like it'll be you, buddy. Ooh, so basically I get a guaranteed three focus when I use that. Nice. So, one of the other three people in this has increased defense or just an 80% reduction to all damage taken so we're looking at a 25% chance that this just does nothing on the other hand I also need Marana to do her thing so first things first we slow the game down just a little bit then we pray that we can pop a skull or two. Good. So that... Oh, that's not great. Oh, just straight up damage, huh? That sucks. Let's see... Back to the end of the line with them. Someone else entirely. Great, we like that. He has a whole five health to his name. And I hear the Bukovac licking its chops. So I will give it what it wants.
Wait, what disables it? The velas? Oh, that's actually a pretty convenient one for it to be. I'm going to get hit for 10 damage again, and that's going to suck. I can't actually look at what the djinn's going to do. There it is. Come on. What in the world? There it is. Yeah, so he's going to hit me with bloody dead again. This guy... Hmm. Bloody dead would end up going off. No. Back to the end of the line. A 17% chance to just die. Ooh. We can do this. This guy only has 17 health. Bonk, you lose. You're mine, almost. Is... is it over? I don't feel particularly different, except that I don't want to be here anymore. I have to go back to my brother. Will you be alright? Yes, I'm almost certain of that. Rest. You look awful. Good luck. Jeez. So we got the gin. And now we have herp aids again. Ligia is going to have something to say about that. Then again, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Then again, she didn't know about the golem. That very well could have hurt her. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for us today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this full throttle episode with all the things a growing boy could ever love. I hope I saved. I hate to have to do that fight again. Barely won it as it was. I mean, there was no chance we would actually lose unless something went terribly awry. Or we got slowed. Yeah, I hate being slowed. Anyway, this goes up on Wednesday, so the next episode will be Friday. Look forward to that. And so, with all that said, we will see you next time.